Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 11.37am. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Why was the maths teacher such a good dancer? She had algorithm. Oh. <laughs> right guys, so I'm still here in my flat in Rochester. Um, I took Max out this morning and he loved the snow. He was licking it. He loves it. I'm glad about that because some dogs don't like the snow. He's actually a tiny dog and the snow was quite high on him. So, um, yeah, I'm in my flat. I've just nipped out to the local co-op to get something for lunch. Um, so I've got a regular latte here. The co-op still hasn't got large cups in its machine, so I've got a regular latte. Regular. Um, I wanted lunch. So, I mean, I could cook the chicken breast, but I fancied an all-day breakfast sausage baguette. This is an all-day breakfast sausage baguette, and the ingredients and allergens are on the back. Wool's all day breakfast baguette, a Lincolnshire sausage. The allergens are wheat and meta bisulfate. The baguette has got wheat in it and it may contain nice traces of nuts, hazelnut and pecan and sesame seeds. Allergy advice. For allergens including cereals containing gluten, See ingredients in bold. Note the ingredients listed do not include sauce. So when you go into the co-op, um, you can uh, they don't do the sauces by the Costa machine anymore. So if you ask somebody behind the counter for mustard or tomato sauce, they'll give you it. I forgot. I've got my own tomato and mustard sauce anyway. But if you ask behind the counter in the co-op, they will give you sources. So this is on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Rollover Hot Dogs, and Hello Sausage, hashtag Hello Sausage. So a traditional Lincolnshire sausage since 1786. So I'm going to eat that for my lunch. Basically, it's just it's a Lincolnshire sausage in a hot dog roll. If you want sauces, you have to put them on yourself. So there you are. Nice long bap and a nice long sausage, Lincolnshire sausage. I'm going to enjoy that with my regular latte. So the price difference of a regular latte and a large one isn't that much. It's just the cup is a lot smaller. So I like getting value for money. I would have preferred a larger copy, but there you are. Um, I was craving chocolate yesterday, which is naughty, and there was no chocolate in here, so I've got myself a bag of Revels. I've loved these since I was a kid. Revels. The orange one. My favourite is the chewy one, the toffee chewy one. But I always, you know, there's a raisin one, there's a Maltese one, and there's the one with the orange in. And I like those as well, but my favourite is the chewy one. Like toffee, toffee, chewy. And Turkish Delights. Two for a pound. Can't go wrong with that. Turkish Delight. So, I've got that. I'm, I'm fine. And yes, guys, I popped out for a daily mail. <laughs> I still keep remembering what that guy said on the radio. He was laughing about it, one of his relatives going to the shop for a Daily Mail. So, Daily Mail. On the back, please stay Gareth. Football. And um, horror on the frozen lake. Four children were fighting for their lives in hospital last night after being pulled from a frozen lake. Oh my God. The youngsters, said to be aged under 12, had been playing on the ice in Solly Hole, West Midlands, when it cracked. 
Witness told how a dog walker screamed at them to get off moments before it gave away. All four rescued were in cardiac arrest when they were taken from the freezing water, the ambulance service said. An army sent into hospitals this week. So there's going to be strikes, isn't there? People are going on strike in December and the army is going to help out. So I got the Daily Mail. Now let's just... I was asked if I have a garden. I don't. I have a balcony. So let's go out on the balcony. So as you can see, builders are working in this weather. They're going up and down the road. Crunchy, isn't it? It's turned to slush now. The danger is that all this will turn to ice overnight and get very slippery. But I don't have a garden, I have a balcony. I used to have a garden many years ago, a front and back, but now I just have a balcony. <laughs> you can see the snow settled on my chair on the balcony last night. I stay up there, Max, it's cold. So, guys, it is cold out there. I wore my boots. Um, me, Crystal, wore my boots. Hello, Max. And I'm going to have my coffee and my nice uh, hot dog sausage. Um, I am. I'm. I'm completely okay. You know. I'm. I'm happy by myself. I'm happy doing what I normally do. Um, it is going to be a struggle to heat up the place. It's a very big flat. The gas doesn't last five minutes. I had a scare this morning. I thought I lost my gas card, but I found it. Um, so you top up the gas meter and then it's, it's really gone. A couple of days it's gone. But fortunately for me, I've got electric as well and a small little um, electric fan. Um, so I haven't heard from my mum since this morning, I hope she's okay and I'm going to get on with the rest of my day and I'm not going to try and not let things upset me um, because it's just not worth it getting all depressed and unhappy. Um, I've enjoyed the snow, I've been safe in the snow, I've been careful, you can enjoy something without putting yourself in a dangerous position. So I'm quite happy and I hope everybody has a lovely day. It is cold, it is slippery and I'll see you later.